Hello, my name is Marcus Printup. We're going to speak about practicing with the metronome. When I was younger, people would tell me to practice all your scales. So I was like, how do you practice scales? Okay, that's a scale, but that, that's a major scale. Now, you have to ask yourself, how can I expand just that, that, that one major scale? There are many ways I can expand that major scale. I can play them in increments like this. Now that's one way to just to alter or to change, you know, playing a major scale just, you know, from the, the average da 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 Another way to do it is you can play your scales in all 12 keys. And that's one thing that gets overlooked. Um, usually when we we're younger students in middle or high school, we just play just like a B flat major scale for warm ups. Learn your scales in all 12 keys. And if you decide to do those little exercises where you alter the scale like this, do it in all 12 keys. And so on. So that's one way to alter or to change playing scales so that they're not mundane and just the same thing all the time. Now, we're gonna add the metronome into this thing as well. I have a metronome on my iPhone. For now, I'm setting the beat, let's see, um, at 70 beats per minute. Now this is a regular scale at 70 beats per minute. Okay? Now, if you think about what the, the beat that the metronome is on, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's on one and three. And usually when you're playing classical music, that's usually what the pulse will um, signify so, like if if I'm playing like a Sousa march, a John Philip Sousa march, two, one, two, oh. one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, one, three. Now, if you want to practice your phrasing in jazz, playing scales, think of the metronome on two and four, like a rod cymbal. One, two, three, four. So snap your fingers like this, everybody in our audience. So now we have mm, mm, one, two, three, four, mm, mm, mm. You know, that's one way that you can practice your scales as well. So just do them in all, in all 12 keys, practice them straight with the metronome on, on one and three, and then for fun or for swinging purposes, put the metronome on two and four. One other way of um, expanding how you practice scales, you have a metronome, you, you can make them, you can practice them slower or faster. Let's say I wanna go to 110 now. Okay, now that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now if I put it on two and four, two, one, two, three, four, uh, think of the drums. Uh, two, uh, uh, uh. Just like that.